There's a lot going on this year for Monster Hunter World Iceborne in terms of free post-launch updates, as Capcom have revealed their plan for both console and PC content. Both console and PC players will be able to celebrate Monster Hunter World's second anniversary with in-game events happening not only in Iceborne, but World as well. The released roadmap spans over the course of the next six months and onward, with plenty happening including syncing major updates for both PC and console starting in April 2020. Events include the Grand Appreciation Fest in January to February, further updates adding new monsters, and in April will be the first synced updates, meaning PC will start receiving updates at the same time as console. PC had a bit of a catch up with updates, but that will all change come April. For the full outline of upcoming updates, be sure to stop by the Fextra Life website for more info. You can also visit the Monster Hunter World Wiki for all the latest. Next month is the release of the retro 1-bit RPG World of Horror, which is influenced by Lovecraft and manga artist Junji Ito. This eerie RPG concentrates on building a sense of unease. Launching in early access this February, World of Horror is created by developer Paul Kosminski, who describes this game's story as a cosmic horror. Players can choose from five playable characters, each with their own backstory and perspectives of the world plunging into chaos. You must solve puzzles and mysteries with the use of spells that take your sanity. World of Horror is a roguelite with turn-based combat played through playing a deck of cards to depict events, set with unforgiving consequences. World of Horror comes to Steam early access on February 20th, 2020. After announcing the delay of Cyberpunk 2077 to September this year, developer CD Projekt Red have shared that the multiplayer feature won't be part of the game until after 2021. This was revealed during an investor question and answer session, which was posted online. The call involved Michael Nowakowski, who is a member of CD Projekt Red Board of Directors and Senior Vice President of Business and Development, who answered a question pertaining if we could expect to experience multiplayer in Cyberpunk 2077, in 2021, to which Nowalski replied that it was unlikely. Previously, the developers shared last year in September on their official Twitter account that they would follow up the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 with free downloadable content and then add multiplayer once it was ready. Cyberpunk 2077 will launch on September 17th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC and Google Stadia. This week, a short several second clip from Godfall has been circling the Reddit forums, said to be taken from an internal trailer for the developer Counterplay Games. The developer has confirmed today that it was indeed part of an internal video released in the beginning of 2019. The Reddit user who posted the footage also shared that the video is not a current look of the final quality of the game. What is shown in the video is a few different locations, some more of the melee combat and a few enemies players will face. While this might not be the final look, it gives a good idea of what to expect. Are you hyped for Godfall? Let us know in the comments below. Publisher Kotecmo and developer Gust have released a new trailer showing off the town of Magnolia in the upcoming title Fairy Tale. The latest trailer shows the town of Magnolia, which has been recreated in the action RPG Fairy Tale. Based on the anime of the same name, the game will bring fans a first hand experience of the series, with plenty of characters that they know and love. Locations recreated can be explored in-game. This includes a bright and cheerful look at the Merchant City Magnolia in the latest trailer, where main characters can be seen gleefully seeing the sights. The video description explains the hard work that went into building the town brick by brick over the course of six months, referring to scenes straight from the anime for reference. Creating this environment in 3D. Fairy Tale will release on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and PC on March 19, 2020. The Monster Collector title inspired by Pokemon, Temtem has been released this week along with its launch trailer. While Temtem certainly has some pretty close similarities to the Pokemon games, Temtem takes on the MMORPG world on Humble and Steam Early Access. The title takes a mix of exploration, monster collecting, battling and a story-driven game which can be experienced with friends. Wandering around the world, you can battle other players or tamers found at the beach or trade with them to gain some different Temtem. Some interesting battle differences with its Pokemon counterpart, Temtem offers combo attacks with using two creatures in battle. Temtem is currently on Steam Early Access and Humble on PC. The game will also release on consoles, which is to be announced with a tentative plan for Nintendo Switch in 2021. The remastered version of the original Wasteland is coming to PC via Steam, GOG and the Windows Store as well as Xbox One with Xbox Game Pass this February 25th. Wasteland Remastered is developed under Chrome Studios, giving the original a pretty big upgrade from its original 80s RPG graphics. Originally set to launch last year, the game will be coming out next month. 
receiving quite the makeover visually, players can enjoy a 3D upgrade. While not matching that of Wasteland 3, it gets a crisp UI in top-down, moving away from its original pixel art style. The original Wasteland was released in 1988, its remastered version sets to refresh its look and comes to new platforms this February. Wasteland Remastered should keep you busy until Wasteland 3 releases later this May. Recently, a new title was listed on the Writers Guild of America, and Netflix has confirmed the project in a tweet that The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf is currently in development. Set to be an animated movie, The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf is being developed by Lauren Hisrich, the showrunner from the Witcher Netflix series, and Boda Meir, as well as Studio Mer. This is the same studio that worked on The Legend of Korra. The first season of the Witcher series launched last month and is currently on track to be the biggest season one release on Netflix, racking up 76 million member households in just the first four weeks. So it's no surprise another Witcher project is underway due to its formidable impact, not only gaining quite the number of views but sparking an influx of new players picking up The Witcher 3 on Steam, gaining more concurrent players than its original launch. The Witcher series is based off the Polish fantasy novels by Andrzej Sapokowski, and following the success of the show, has now got the publisher Orbit Books reprinting 500,000 copies. So good news all around for Witcher fans in a number of mediums. You can catch the season 1 of The Witcher on Netflix. The Witcher 3 World Hunt is available to play on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC. While it's already 2020, the awards season hasn't quite finished, with more ceremonies still to commemorate the standout games of last year. The New York Video Game Awards took place this week, with The Outer Worlds taking the Big Apple Game of the Year award. Other notable wins went to Disco Elysium for Off-Broadway Award for the Best Indie Game, and Resident Evil 2 gaining the Freedom Tower Award for Best Remake. This is quite different to how the Game Awards ended up, with Secure Shadows Die Twice taking Game of the Year instead, but Disco Elysium also scooped up the Best Independent Game and RPG there too. If you're eager to find out what we thought of The Outer Worlds, be sure to check out our review. To see all the nominees and winners, you can read about it on Fexture Life. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits. And budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness.